They said they seen my 16s cause a killing spray. They said your shit wasn't good enough to get a fan. My double up game traveling up range. Fuck lanes, we got goonies that really cut chains. Like fuck fame, I need money to cop a new range. Yo, what up, what up, what's going on, yo? What up, what up? What up? Peace. Yeah, man, uh, first to do the intro. Yo, welcome to the Pinoy Podcast. I'm Toast Johnson. I'm really excited to get into this interview right here. Um, with one of the dopest, dopest artists in the game right now. You know what I mean? That's what's, uh, up. That's what's up. Homie right here, he um has a great body of workout right there. You know what I mean? You can check it out you know what i mean go and check it out his, his, his body of work is tremendous it's dope um yeah accommodating to a uh uh album called make the devil pray uh i'm definitely you know honored to have uh this guest with us xp the marksman welcome salute, to the salute. Podcast, man peace salute peace. salute toast man it's a pleasure man to be in the building definitely. i appreciate the words you know what i mean and it's uh it's been a long road, man. And, you know, we're here, man. The catalog is just adding on, man. You know, that's what we're doing. That's what we're yeah. doing now, man. Um, definitely. Um, wanted to get into it, man, and start out with, like, um, definitely, like, a uh, little simple bio questions, but necessary. And um, definitely. where you from? I'm, I'm born and raised in L.A., man. Los Angeles, California. You know what that's I mean? Um uh, you know, I'm, all my family's from a place called Gardena, which is uh, right there, pretty much like in the south central area. Um, but when I was a young kid, you know, we moved out. You know, my pops moved us out, uh, you know, to the outskirts of L.A., which I'm currently at now, which is, you know, the San Fernando Valley. So, um, I, I, you know, I call this place my home. I represent L.A. hip hop. You know, it's just L.A. all day. But. My home, my home where I rest, you know, my head is 818, man. You know, it's, you know, San Fernando Valley, outskirts of, of L.A., but, you know, still considered L.A., man, to me. You know what I mean? So, no doubt. Um, but, yeah, man, I'm, I'm you know. Now, you, you know, with, with the West Coast scene and, and what people may think of, of L.A. artists coming out the West Coast thinking that there's a certain signature, signature sound, right? Right. Right. And with you, uh, I'm not going to say that's not so, right? Because who, who who deems that to be the signature sound? You know what I mean? Yeah, right, but, right, yeah, right. Right. But but what what you know, the way that you're coming at it is is definitely unique, if that's a correct word, unique way Thank as you, far man. as uh, as far as standing out. You know what I mean? With uh among other artists that's from the West, if you just want to put it regional, you know what I mean? Right, like, right. You're you much more than regional, but if you just want to put it regional, you stand out, you know, the way Thank that you. you come, the way that you come at it, you know, but uh, that, that brings me to this question here, like, uh, when is, like, when is the first time that you could remember that you heard hip hop? Man, I was, I was a kid, man. Uh, probably like, you know, I was born in '86, man. So you know, I was I wasn't too too uh, too uh, in the beginning of it, but I was right in a place where it was like hitting. You know, MTV, yo, raps. Uh, you know, I watch MTV a lot. You know, what I mean, I would just watch uh, a lot of videos, man. But I think the one song, dog, that that really you know sparked it off, you know, for me, where. Um, you know, I bugged my mom, you know, to get the tape and, and shit like that. You know, I think I was like four, like, you know, five years old. And it was um, Summertime, you know, by the Fresh Prince and, and you know, DJ Jazzy Jeff. You know what I mean? Man. So it, um, that, you know, and I, I remember seeing the video and like wanting to, you know, be dude. You know what I mean? Just lounging. You looking super fly. Like, yeah, you got yeah. the ladies around him kicking that shit you know so yeah. i was like yo this is this is dope like i and like he, this um, you know I mean? and he had the rock him flow in that joint right you know I mean? right he had the straight <laughs> rock him flow he had the straight <laughs> rock him flow in that joint yeah but but real talk man uh you know and that was the one where like i let i let the tape rock until the tape pop you know what i mean like 
I wore the fucking tape out, bro, till the shit popped on me. And I just remember um, wanting to, like, m mimic hip-hop shit, but in a way where it was, like, the lifestyle. Um, and and, and it's, it's a trip, you know, that you say, you know, the West Coast, you know, sounding, uh, you know, like West Coast. Because, I mean, growing up here, bro, like, like, amongst you know the gang banging and like you know the drugs and seeing all that shit on tv um i was like bro i'm living this shit like i see this shit like all the shit's snoop and and you know dr dre is is you know speaking on like i i i went like i'm living that shit i see that shit all day so i, I guess when i grasped hip-hop it was more towards the east coast sounding um aspect to it because of the fact that everything that the people that were from here were speaking on i'm seeing you know what i mean i'm like i'm like yo so when i'm hearing about the stoops and like i'm seeing people this you know the snorkels and and you yeah. know tims and shit and it's right. snowing outside like like that's the shit that i wanted to learn and see and i guess wanting to see that i gravitated towards the essence of hip hop which is the skill, you know what right. I mean? Like, um, so gravitating, you know, towards that aspect of it, I, I guess, you know, that's what you hear now, man, is just that whole influence of like the skill because I, I felt coming from LA, I'm Mexican. I, I already have a, a label attached to my head, you know what I mean? When it comes to this hip hop shit. So I had to really etch you know, my own lane out of this shit because yeah. um, it was easy for me to get into, you know, the Chicano rap scene, um, which they have out here. You know what I mean? It's 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 a big market, you know, and I, I know a lot of homies in it, you know what I mean? And, and there's a lot of ill artists in that shit, but I didn't want to be attached to that because... I know it's a little box that they try to hold you in after that. You know what I mean? So I, I really wanted to branch away from that. Um, but in terms of like the, you know, the first shit to, to turn me into this hip hop shit, that was the joint, bro. Like that was the joint that, that really hit it on, hit it on the head for me. And I was like, I want to do hip hop. You know what I mean? And I guess since, you know, that day, I guess I lived hip hop without right. even knowing you know what I mean? What I was going to end up, you know, being in the future. So, so, um, uh, definitely a big shout out to Will Smith for inspiring. Shout out to Will Smith. You know what I mean? Shout out to Will Smith. Facts, you know, yo. Facts. That's what's up, baby. <laughs> you know? <laughs> when, um, when, uh, did you want to pick up that, that pencil and that pad and, and start writing? Man. Or what, or what, can I ask you a two part of that? What made you want to do that? Oh man, two words, Wu Tang, homie, Wu Tang. You know, because I was, I was always, I was always a fan of of hip hop. You know what I mean, and and shit like that. And um, you know, growing up, listening to Tupac. You know, that's my favorite. You know, art. Obviously, I mean, it's 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 cliche, but uh, honestly, man, I, I really gravitated towards Tupac because he was around at a time where I was going through a lot in my life as, as a kid. And I felt like he, he was super inspirational and in speaking to the youth that was like, you know, coming from the broken home, you know what I'm saying? The latchkey kid, you know, the, you know, the, the, uh, you know, the, the, the rose out of the concrete, right. you know, kind of concept. So, um, you know, with, you know, with that entering, you know, my life and, and, and aspect, I guess, I wanted to rap, but I was a fan more, you know, but, you know, going to high school, 97, 98 or some shit like that around that time, um, that's when I, I got a whiff of Wu-Tang and I, I remember Wu-Tang, you know, forever and just hearing that shit like, yo, what is this? You know, the intricate drum loops over the, you know, the grimy shit. I was like, yo, this shit is, this is me. Like, this is what I want to hear, bro. You know? Now, and then, not, and not then I... Yeah, not to cut you off real quick. So you were introduced through Wu Tang, through Wu Tang Forever. Right, right. But I guess it was only the first layer, like the first oh, okay. what is this? 
right. then after that, I got a hold of Liquid Swords, you know, Jizza. And wow. after that, that's when I really, that's when I really was like, yo, like, like, like this is some shit that I want to do. You know what I mean? And and I remember just like listening to that shit for hours and just really studying it, you know, you know, to a point. And then, you know, from there, shit led me to like, you know, Gangstar and like, you know, Guru and like how, how he's like super like, you know, with his voice, he could really do way more than trying to, you know, you know, trying to be the most lyrical. He's just, it's not how, it's not, um, you know, how he writes it. It's how he says it, you know what right. I mean? And, and it's, it's crazy because, you know, me, you know, like personally, I don't, I don't think I have the most wittiest lyrics or anything like that, but it's more of like how I say my shit and what I say, you know what I mean? On, on, um, on, you know, a scale of, of like other artists, you know, when it led me to, you know, the mainstream, obviously, you know, Wu-Tang was like kind of like in the gray area between the underground and like shit like that. So I guess listening to them, it, led me to like underground shit, you know what I mean? Right. Like like the what's happening now, like, you know, cannabis and like shit like that. And it really led me in, in into there to like the real, the real like, you know, the spitters, you know what I mean? Like food mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So hearing that, I'm like, that's that's what I want to do. I want to rap rap. You know right. what I mean? I don't want to just look cool doing this shit. I want to really step into this shit and really just rip mics. You know what I mean? And just show people that. I got the skill level, you know, to keep up with the best of them. And I, and I just really honed in, dog, on just how I wanted to, how I wanted to, you know, sound over a record, how my voice, you know, was going to be projected. And I guess I learned a lot of that, dog, from, you know, Wu-Tang. And there's a gang of members in there, so you could take a piece from each, you know what I mean? And, right. you know, and you can right. make it your own and shit, you know what I mean? And, and, um, uh, they were a heavy influence, man, on, on, you know, my subject matter to, you know, my cadence to, you know, my flow to, to right. just, just, you know, even my beat selection, bro. It's like, it's like, right. you, so you can really hear a lot of like that, um, audiotistically through the music, you can hear that influence, you know what I mean? Um, and, and, uh, they were really, you know, a pivot, you know, I'm, right. I like to say it, man, you know, I'm a woo baby dog. Like, you know, they right. raised me, you right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, I carry that shit all in my music. So you, you yeah. can get a piece of that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, that's, cool. Cool. That, that's crazy. Cause <laughs> I as well with Tupac and woo, you know what I mean? Right. Right. It's not, right. it's not so much cliche. Well, it's not cliche when you say, uh, right. You know uh, that you know Pac is one of your favorites, right? Because of those reasons that you you express, you know what I mean, and that's universal. Right, right, right. Yeah, those 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 feelings and those emotion emotions is the same thing. Why why I fuck with Pac, right? Right. And right. So for the fact that it's like that, it could never be a uh, cliche for sure. But I feel it, I feel it. and and you have like an, you were saying about Guru, and you was talking about um. Yeah, Jizzle with Liquid Swords, right? right? And so the parallels from now listening to your music, you know, and uh, different albums that you uh, that you have coming out come out with, including a new one, is that you the parallels is that you have clarity exactly like they have clarity in their rhymes. You know what I mean? Exactly. So exactly. You, I, I can understand what 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 you're saying and it it makes me think afterwards you know what i mean so That's what's now, <laughs> now that you say that it kind of you know and listening to your music i'm like yeah i can see the parallel <laughs> of the universe uh, you know you know why why uh those are some of his favorites you know what i mean yeah for so, sure for sure and it's it's uh you know and and coming from the west coast you know like you said it's 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 a little odd but i feel that I'm bringing something with that, you know, because, you know, people could be like, yo, like, he's from the West Coast. He should be sounding like this. But in all reality, you know, mm -hmm. you you can't deny real shit, bro. You know, whether you like it or not, you can't deny it. You know what I mean? Well, so well, it's, it's not about, you know, you don't want to put yourself in a box. You know I mean? That's you it. 
you don't want to uh make a binary choice you got to be bind to it to say right. this is what's going to dictate my music and my flow you know what i mean exactly. that's, that, that's not uh that's not good energy that's not going to project the dope music you know what i mean and yeah. unfortunately we see a lot of that though that case is out there a lot that's why we hear a lot of trash you know what i mean because <laughs> yeah they're in a bind yeah. they're in a bind you know they gotta sound this way or they think they gotta do this or whatever like that and not make the fucking music that's natural within them you know to them I mean? yeah yeah you know what i was i was actually having a conversation with my man rashid Chappelle, and salute. um salute. yeah yeah salute my man and and he has said some shades like yo man see us like we don't have to imagine these things or like you don't have to like you know you know we have to pull this shit out of the air it's like it's already in our heads because we went through this shit right. we went through the streets right we're in the streets you know right. what i mean so it's like it's like you know we don't have to pull from an imaginary source it's like it's here you know what i mean so See, the wild shit with you know a lot of my motherfuckers or well man i ain't gonna say motherfuckers a lot of people or whatever or help you know dudes that's in the rap game who talk that rah rah shit right right is that niggas don't understand is that when you talk the street shit and that hardcore shit all right if it's coming from a comic book angle then that's exactly what it's going to be it's power, right. power. i could make that's no how it's going to be received yeah that's right. how it's going to be a, but the thing is if if it's coming from a personal level where it's like okay this is how this is what made this person do this you know what i mean or it's, it's emotional it has some kind of humanity it could be all about the the, right. the shoot them up shit and all that that you want right but as long as it has some kind of you know humanity and then if that's not it you know you could you gotta have fun with it even if you having fun with it you know what i mean it just right, right. You know, yeah. just has to be done in a in a in a poetic way you know what i mean definitely, Sometimes definitely. Some, some dudes get lazy with it you know what i mean <laughs> yeah yeah i feel you, know, you. you know, i feel but, you man. Uh, yeah man but yeah. add water and mix you know what i mean yeah, I have yeah. water and mix, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's exactly, you know what I mean? So, but the thing is, is that um, in particular, the type of music that you're making and the, the projects that you put out there, um, it's like, you know, I salute you because, you know, Thank you're you. with that, with you, and to say, so to speak, in a Wu-Tang language, within that chamber, you're preserving real hip-hop, you know what I mean? Real Bless you know, hip-hop, you're preserving Thank you, that. And and you have to keep that and keep that going. I'm not telling you something you don't know. Keep that going and not, you know, um talk, you know, fall into those binary choices and all that right. other bullshit that's out right. there. Cause they they trying, they they trying to break that shit down. Any communication that's of real hip hop and trying to get it out there, uh, you know, to the people on a mass level, the the big motherfuckers want to shut that down because they don't want um awakening awakening you know I mean? but they don't want an industry where money is filtering to independent artists in a big way like they were in the 90s right so right, in the 90s right. you had all these independent labels and then you had def jam which was a big label but they had to kind of run it in an independent way you know to hit the streets you know what i mean yeah. hit the, you know so you know but a lot of money was going through some of these you know independent labels and uh that's why you had so many different voices out there you know what i mean i can have a a, a black moon and at the same time have a mob deep you know what i mean right right I got, yeah, you know it's different voices out there but now they all want to put it into one voices one you're right voice. you're right you know, that's that bullshit. you want to have one monotone music i mean no disrespect because i love uh, uh jamaican music and roots and all that right but that music you can use the same uh beat right you know I mean? right oh right. yeah so right a reggae tone we know that that's going to be a reggae beat so you could use that right. same and flip it in different ways it doesn't work to me in hip-hop Nah, that shit is redundant. It's, it's yeah. super and redundant. I don't want to sound like an old fogey in particular with trap. So if everybody nah, using facts, the same, everybody's using the same snare, everybody's using the same shit and the same drum. Hi hats, all that hi -hats shit. And all that shit. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, and then all you gotta do is say whatever you're gonna say over it. You know what I mean? So which ain't know, much, you know what I mean? <laughs> you gotta yeah, say much. Not much. 
<laughs> so I, yeah, I say all that to say that yeah, definitely. Um, you know what you do is 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 correct, and uh, mm -hmm. like yourself and others that's out there that's trying to you know to keep that uh to keep that going, and you're doing a great job with it. You know what I mean? I appreciate you, brother. Definitely. I'm just um, I'm just trying to uphold you know the essence of this shit, bro. You know, just you are. real skill. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just real skill, raw skill. You know what I mean? And, and that's yeah, it. You are. Yeah, mm -hmm. you are, definitely. I wanted to get into uh, get into your name, right? Right, right. X P the Marksman. Um, describe. You know what's the meaning behind the name? Right. So, um, you know, back in the day, they used to call me Express. Like this is like in uh, two thousand, two thousand one, and I went by M C. Express, you know, obviously express myself, expression, mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. So through the process of that, one of my homeboys uh, used to call me XP. You know, what I mean, yo, XP, XP. So, um, you know, but it was it was more of like some inside shit. Like I still had, you know, the public A Express. You know what I mean? So it was it was still on 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 that level. But you know, unfortunately, you know, my man, he uh, he, I went down to Mexico, and you know. Uh, this was around the time when, like, you know, the cartels was, like, snatching people up and shit like that. So, unfortunately, um, him and a few of, a few of his peeps, uh, they got snatched up, held, you know, for ransom and shit like that. Um, he's never been heard of again, you know what I mean? So, um, he's still missing and stuff, but in his name, dog, in, in his name, I sh shorten the shit to XP, you know what I mean? So um, it wasn't really anything that has a a meaning of like, you know, you know, does the XP, you know, mean anything in general like that, but it means a lot in terms of why I call myself that, you know, now. Um, it's still, you know, short for, ex you know, express, but it's, 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 you know, it took on a different meaning now. So, um, I hold the XP high in his name, you know what I'm saying, wherever he's at, wherever he may be. And um, through that, the marksman, that shit just attached itself because everything I shoot is going to be on point, man. You know what I'm saying? Every time, every time I pull out, every time I pull out my pen, it's like I'm aiming, you know what I mean? So I just attached that to my name and I just kept, moving along, man, and it just, you know, it grew a life of its own at this point, so, um, yeah, man, it, it, it definitely is, is a crazy way of, you know, developing my name, uh, but I really hold his memory high th through it, so whenever you hear my name, that shit has a lot to do with my homie, too, you know, right. so. As, you know, know definitely want to say, you know, uh, may his memory be a blessing every time. You know what definitely, I mean? Definitely, definitely, man. You know, I, I, and uh, God bless him. God bless definitely. his soul, you know, and um, God bless his family. Definitely, brother. definitely, yeah. Yeah, shout out to my man, Andre, man, wherever you at, brother, you know, we holding you hot, G. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And we, you know, we gonna keep the torch high lit and we're going to move it across the finish line, G, you know, like we talked about, man, back in the days, you already know what time it is. So that's how we doing it, man. You know what I mean? Salute. Definitely salute. <sighs> and that, and, uh, and that just give you more strength. That's, that's a test. Yeah, to your, definitely. That's, you know, a test definitely. To you know what, man? I, I think, focus. I think, I think real street. Well, I'm going to say real street. I just think people, you know, from a place of like, you know, you come from loss. I think, we, you know, we somehow attach, you know, death to our names, even though it's not in a bad way. It's it's in a, you know, a remembrance. Mm -hmm. um, but I, 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 I do a lot of that in my music, too, man. I just hold a lot of my people that ain't around with me through it because I know that's the only way we're going to be able, you know, to live through the centuries. Right, you know, so it's about upliftment, and you know, yeah, it's, it's a spiritual upliftment when you think about the spiritual those that, upliftment that's not yes. here with us no more. It, you know, uh, like what I do, you know, 
is is always hold them high because right. if i hold them high then my spirits will be high you know what i mean they not in a low place so i can't think about them in yeah the but, but yeah exactly I always hold them high low, right you hold them high so that's that's the thing you know those who who may use you know uh definite names or do whatever sometimes they may do it for cynical ways and it's not spiritual so that right. bad right. That, that bad energy will 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 meet with them you know what i mean Definitely. yeah i feel that i feel yeah. that bro. but if you you that. representing on the spiritual high and representing that you know that that person that you know uh uh soul in the spiritual high way then good things gonna happen more blessings Definitely, you know bro. what i mean Definitely, yeah. bro. Definitely. I'm man. a spiritual thug, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. I'm a spiritual That's thug, up. bro. You know what I mean? I mean, Definitely. I'm, I'm all about good energy. You know what I mean? Right. That's right. What, uh, what, what this crazy fucking world, what's going on right now. <laughs> Definitely. That's, 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 all right. that's all you can really move with. That's all you can move with, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's what's right. going to uh, keep you going. You know what I mean? But, um, <laughs> one, one, you know, uh, transition to, to that, uh, you know, your, um, your philanthropy, or uh, damn, I fucked up the word. I knew I was going to do that. XP, Phil <laughs> the philanthropy. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> <sighs> okay, right, right. Yeah, that word there, right? Which, which now, since I fucked it up, and I know a couple other people out there might not know what that word mean, right? Um, somewhat his charity work, his his uh, work for humanity in his in his community, um, so to speak. You know, uh, that right there was very interesting to me and uh, wanted to, 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 to see, right. uh, talk to you about that. Right, man. Well, um, a, f a few years back, bro, uh, you know, I caught a case and shit, you know, whatnot, you know, and um, I had to do community service at a rescue mission, but it was, it was also, you know, a thrift shop as well. And, um, you know, me being me, I kind of just let the shit, you know, drag on, you know, for a while and shit. And, uh, you know, to the point where I, I, I literally had to work for this place eight hours a day for like three months every day, you know, to clear that shit, you know, right. and it was, it was the exact time, you know, but I chose to procrastinate and just let the shit ride on. So right. I, I end up at, at the rescue mission, man. And it, it, it kind of threw me right back into ground zero. You know, I got to see homelessness, um, drug abuse, mental illness, uh, you know, prostitution, uh, you know, gang banging, you know, gang violence, like, and it was, it was all there, you know, because of the fact when you do this charity work in, in the, you know, in these kind of, you know, zones, man, it's, it's, it's hard to, you know, not, you know, be a part of it, you know, you know, mind, body and spirit, you know, because at the end of the day, you're like, a foot, you know, I was a footstep away from all that, you know what I mean? I was, you know, you know, I had to deal with some shit, you know, that I fucked up in my life and, and, um, it threw me right back into a place that I worked really hard, you know, to get out of. So when I was in the midst of there, man, and, and working there, um, I got to meet a lot of nice individuals underneath, you know, all the addictions and, you know, mental illness, and you really see what is is happening, you know, to, you know, all, all, all the communities, dog, there's homelessness, you know, the, you know, meth addiction is crazy up, like, that shit's right. wild, you know, and I think, you know, the, all the drug use, you know, from the meth, I would say, in particular, um, but I can see it's, Honing in a little bit more to, you know, that other shit, uh, you know, fentanyl, uh, you know, now at least. So there's a, a lot of that, you know, meth and like, you know, fentanyl shit happening right now, which is leading into all the homelessness, man. And if you come down to Cali, bro, you, you, you head down to LA, you'll, you'll see it. You'll see it. Like, I don't really gotta, I don't gotta say much because, um, you know, years for years, they had a section, you know, which is called Skid Row. Mm -hmm. in downtown LA and it was all for the homeless but if you go down there now it's like nothing but blocks you know what I mean at first it was one area now it's you know blocks and stuff and wow. um wow. you know the process of you know me having to deal with you know my own shit it opened up 
you know, something in me where, like, I have to help. So, you know, I dedicated, you know, a few shows, man, where, like, you know, we could get the bins and stuff. And, you know, we do, you know, like, you know, can runs. Um, we take in, you know, blankets and shit. And, you know, I try to donate as much as I can, bro. Like, whether it be, you know, a coat, a fucking, you know what I'm saying? So it's it's a lot of that stuff where if you could just help, not with money and shit, because obviously a lot of us, we can't help with, with money, but if we got an extra hoodie or like extra pair of kicks, you know what I mean? You know, hand them shits down on a cold fucking day because, you know, there's at least one dude out there, bro, that ain't, ain't, ain't got the warmth or he ain't got the blanket, you know, that you have chilling in the closet, bro, or some shit like that. And right. me and my family, you know, we try to gather up shit, you know, at the, at the, at the end of the year and, you know, a lot of things. And it's, it's crazy, man. Like when you look through all the shit that you accumulate, you know, throughout the year and you just like, I, fuck, I want to use that shit one time or this, this like, yeah. Yeah. it really makes you think because, you know, I've been in a lot worse, you know, positions in my life to where now where if I can help others, bro, that's, that's all I really, I really want to do at, at this point. And if it's, if, you know, I got to get a bag of hoodies and shit like that and I donate them, you know, to my local thrift shop or this and that, I feel you trying to make those, um, you know, efforts to just help others where if, if even it's just a small gesture like that, bro, that shit goes a long way. You know what I mean? So it started from that, man. It, it, it started from me having, you know, my own issues and, you know, I got thrusted, you know, right back into this shit that I worked so hard. You know, it was crazy because right before that happened to me, bro, I, I was overseas, bro. I was like, you know, hitting up shows and, and you know, I was fucking you know, free as an eagle, dog, and, and right. uh, you know, to be s snatched out of the sky and then, you know, tossed in a cage, bro, that shit, that shit does something to you, bro, you know, so a after that, I felt like I had to get, you know, myself out of the midst, and I also had, you know, to do, you know, shit for others, you know, whether it feed them, like, you know, me and my lady, you know, we, you know, you know, we just buy hella shit to make a big ass pot of spaghetti and we cook that shit up. We get some tang, you know, we, you know, like a big ass thing. We, I mean, obviously, mm -hmm. you know, this was before the COVID shit, but, um, right. and we just head out to the park where I know there's hella homeless people that, you know, hungry, whatever, right. whatever the fact it was open the trunk and just be, Oh shit. And then, you know, once they see, you know, one dude hop out with the food, like, yo, where the food at? Yeah. And they see, you know, they all coming up. So, you know, we did yeah, shit you know. like that. You know yeah. what I mean? So yeah, bro. Like, um, anytime, bro, I could, I could help other people, man. That's, that's what, uh, I tend to do because I feel like I've been in that position. I've been homeless. I've been on drugs, bro. Like I know how it is, bro. You know, to be looked at, like you ain't, you know, mm -hmm. you ain't shit. So, mm -hmm. um, I try to acknowledge people, man, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and show them that, you know, you're still human, you know, cause when you're in the midst of that fog, bro. And then another individual treats you like you, you know, you feel like you think that really solidifies a lot up, up, up here and, and it keeps you down there, bro. So if you could get a little bit of love in the midst of like, you know what I mean? It, mm -hmm. it, it, that shit can help you out of out of a ditch, man. You know, just one interaction with a person that you think, you know, believes in you and, and you know, they show you a little bit of you know, love and shit like that, man. Um, that shit could go a long way, homie. You know what I mean? Right. That shit could right. put some fuel in the tank, you know, to do a lot, you know, for yourself and shit. And the thing is, is that that that's so dope, bro. You know what I mean? And I and that. yeah, man. Yeah, needless, needless to say, you know, blessings are are surrounding you and, and they're gonna continue for uh continue to go in your in your direction, you know, because of those uh because of those efforts. Because um like in these days and time. You know what you're doing is uh is like it's not the norm now right because nobody like if you look at how the world is it's basically what you're saying is man doesn't give a shit about man anymore right right you know I mean? <laughs> and, right in any kind of fucking way this is why we seeing what's going on this man just said fuck it they, they sold out to money 
they will uh, sell other people out for money. And, and they sold out to you like machines and fucking right, different right. shit, bro. You know. Well, it's it's a drugs. It's agendas that's that's being fueled by by a lot of money that's being um, pushed everywhere, and it's even in trickling down to uh, to us to, uh, to, to hip hop, to, yeah, yeah, to, facts. to, to hip hop to 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 the to the uh, what they like to call us the minority community or whatever they want to call it. It trickles down and it's getting a lot of motherfuckers brainwashed, right? So you know what you're doing is you know is inspiring because those that that hopefully will see this will be inspired to do uh to do something which you you know from what you were saying of your efforts of what you're doing to help people uh if nothing else people should get out of it that you know any little effort helps you know any I mean? little effort helps bro like you know you don't know yes. that at, at that particular time what that person is going through uh, I know a lot of people do it through internet now and they so glued to their phone and, uh, you know, you know, that it is what it is. And a lot of people get their acceptance from social media. You know what I mean? You know, it, 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 and that's cool because, you know, uh, uh, I know sometimes I done had a fucking bad day and went to fucking Instagram and it's been a, 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 a somebody gave me a dope comment about something I've done and, that kind of fucking at least changed my hour <laughs> for the better. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. so any little effort that you can do, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, help because right now, uh, humanity is losing. We're losing like a fuck. You know what I mean? And what we need to do is just have um a united fucking wall of righteous good energy and do the things such as XP is doing, you know, in his community. And like I said, um, a lot of the selfishness shit, um, that's, that's not gonna, that's not gonna progress. Well, bro, I, I think, I, you know, and, and I think the lesson that I learned through it all, man, was when, uh, you know, when I did catch my case right before that, you know, I was making money, but I think, you know, the Lord <laughs> snatched it from me quick, quick. Like that, he was like, "Back, like, you ain't helping others. You're only helping yourself." Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and I'm from the hood, you know. It was the first time I ever touched some bread, so I was like, "Yeah, you know, da, 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 you know." And I was like, "I didn't, I didn't help the home." I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, shit. Like, but I was like, completely disconnected, man. Yeah. Completely disconnected, and well, and he what, snatched that shit. You know what I mean? But the thing is, is you got knowledge itself where you recognize man. that a lot of oh, for sure, bro. A lot of motherfuckers yeah. don't recognize about themselves and then they run into the wall. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's a blessing that you was able to sit back, recognize that, and do the reset, the necessary. And do, yeah, exactly. You know I pressed I mean? reset, bro, and I, you know, yeah. I came back and, and it wasn't about me no more. And, you know, my life has been flourishing, bro. And, and right. um, you know, I'm like, yes, anybody out here, bro, I'm all about spreading love. And, and you know, when it, anytime, I could I could connect, you know, another person to an opportunity. That's it. Right. I'm good. I don't need I don't need anything else but make you know shit. Right. And the you thing know what is, I mean? Helping others, bro. Yeah, that's dope. Mm -hmm. And like you were saying, when you got that money, you know what I mean? You know, it was it was cool, but it was it was things I guess was misplaced. And things was misplaced. Yeah, My priorities that, was misplaced. You know what I mean? That reminds me, um, that reminds me of a saying that goes, uh, God, if you ever want to know what, what uh, God thinks about money, look at the people he gives it to. You know what I mean? <laughs> I.e. fucking from uh, uh, all the weirdos that's up there that got all that cash. You know what I mean? It's like they that's don't, know, they don't, most people that got that <laughs> right ain't doing the right thing with it. You know what I mean? Right. Right, right, bro. Right, but you know, but there's, there's also others, man. You know, you know when they get it, you know, they know what to do with it, man. And and you know, obviously, you know, the way I feel about it is like you, you obviously have to help yourself, you know, so you can help others. So you know, yeah. you gotta sustain yourself, you know, so you can be able to be good, you know, for your loved ones, you know, for your friends, and um, you know, be in the right mind state, um, emotionally you know everything bro because at the end of the day a lot of 
you know, bad decisions are made off of weak emotions, you know, quick, you know, fucked up, you know, and I think through it all too, seeing a lot of these individuals that were using drugs, homeless because, you know, they made those those instant choices and stuff like that. You see that too, you know, because it's it's uh it goes hand in hand with with everything that's that's you know in place, dog. Uh, you know, good or bad, whether it be you know a good decision, homie, to get you to you know the next level in life, or a bad decision, you know, to put you right back down where you where you were. I mean, it's just you know there's a thin line, man, and and I feel. When you're right there at ground zero, you see all that. You know what I mean? And, right. and you really and you see it. It's like a physical thing. So you can really be like, hey, right. like I'm a step away from this. Like if I make a wrong choice, all of us are a step away from homelessness, a step away from you know what I mean? So it's all about like you said, you keep the good thoughts, you keep the good energy, you keep all that around you and you can't lose, dog. And you should live a righteous life, dog. You know what I'm saying? You give what you want to receive at the end of the day. So mm-hmm. that's how I live my life, dog. You know what I mean? And anything that ain't for me, I move. I move away from it. You know what right. I mean? And right. and right. anything that comes from me, then I gotta do what I gotta do. You know what I mean? So it's like exactly. but I'm 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 always on the you know, I'm yeah. I always trying to show love until otherwise, dog, you know what I mean? Until right. You know what I mean? But I think I think that's all of us who who uh who walk this land, you know, like you know, with a warrior cloth, bro. It's like you do to others what you want done to you, man. And I feel like you live your life like that and, and um you you just, you know. Now do you think that uh you know, real quick and and I definitely wanna get into the album. I'm sorry we got this deep into this. Nah, no worries, man. This is what you it's know? about though, you know. Yeah, you know. <laughs> With, with with the community, I know uh, the homeless community and 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 you know um, those that you that you are that you're helping. Um, I know this kind of sounds this may be a cliche thing, but uh, this may be a hard word. A, not cure, right? But helping and healing, right? For them to get into a, a certain mind state where they could be self self efficient and mentally be self efficient. Now, with some of these people, I, I think. Uh, it would take, you know, um, not maybe not too long for for they mind to heal to a certain extent for them to be self efficient, and with others it may take longer. But right. with but with that, uh, I do believe what you're saying as far as like understanding, caring, uh, uh, compassion. Right, not love, fake. bro. Yeah, love, love, not, homie. Not fake mm-hmm. shit. Genuine, nah, nah. Yeah. Genuine. You love know, it, it ain't the shit where like yeah. you buy a meal, you have the homie record it, and then you give it to the homeless fool, and then yeah, yes, nah. It's like yeah. it's all the shit that fucking goes on behind the scenes, bro. The right. shit that that you know. Because you have yeah. to have patience. You got to have true patience to work bro. with that community. You know what I mean? Oh, for sure, for sure, yeah. man. I feel, I, I feel at 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 the. At, you know, I'm not going to say that there is a cure, but I feel like if there's one thing that is lacking out of that community that's really needed and I've seen inspire another person is love and compassion, bro. Acknowledgement. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Acknowledgement, you know, and then from there they can really see who they are. I'm, you know, I'm still me. I love me. Because I got to get out of this. You know what I mean? Because I've been there, homie, like, I know, bro, I, I know how it is to be on meth and shit like that, bro. And, and, you know, I don't really speak that story, but I touch it on on a little bit of my joints and shit. You know what I mean? Like that, yeah. you know, you know, and, and I know how it is, homie, to be homeless, living in an abandoned shit. And, and keep in mind, these are all my choices. Right. Ain't nobody put me there. You know what I mean? Right. But I was dealing with a lot of internal emotions and shit that I never healed from. And I think using that shit as a mask, you know what I mean? And, and oh, yeah. trying to find other shit to keep, you know, my mind from running the hamster wheel of, of all the shit that I, I went through. How come me? Why me? How come yeah. I, you know what I mean? It was, it was a lot of that shit. Like, yeah. you know, um, you know, I'm not going to say 
every drug user uses out of, you know, the self, you know, pity aspect, but that's where my shit came from. You know what I mean? I felt I was old. I felt like, why me? You know what I mean? So in, in turn, I was like, okay, well, y'all don't give a fuck about, you know, about me, then I don't give a fuck about me. So I guess it leads you. And then you just start fucking spiraling down, bro. You know well, I mean? you know how that goes. Uh, what don't kill you makes you stronger, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Bro. So right oh, now, yeah. right now, you 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 like could lift fucking forty tons right now, bro. You know what I mean, it, like honestly, man, you know, rest in peace to my mom's. You know, I just uh, rest in I peace. lost her, you know, a few months back. But her dog, like like she has a crazy fucking story, bro. And and, and you know, I think. That's what I got to do is through my story, I'm telling hers, you know what I mean? Because uh, she went through it all, bro. Like, you know, through it all, you know, and, and to see her transition and like, I'm not a religious dude. Um, I'm not going to say I'm Christian and I like that, but I do believe there is a higher right. power, you know, whether it be Allah, whether it be right. Buddha, whatever you think it is. And it makes you a good individual. Right. I'm rocking with you. And I rock with it, bro, you know? So, but she turned to Christ and through that, it transitioned her life and she was able to get out the mud. And I was in the mud still. And she was like, you know, son, you gotta, you gotta get out of there. You're gonna die. You know what I mean? Like, what are you doing? You know what I mean? And, and I kind of just had anger issues and shit like that. You know what I mean? And, and, and was, you know, on, on the South you know, pity, usage, shit, and I feel through seeing, you know, my mom's transition, I was like, yo, there is hope, you know what I mean? There is a little bit of hope in this shit, mm -hmm. and uh, I just, I just started looking at myself in a way of, of, like, I gotta be my own inspiration out this shit, like, and then hip-hop, bro, hip-hop, that's, that was like, you know, that was my mom, you know, that was my dad, you know, that was... You know, my brothers and sisters, when I didn't have anything, I couldn't, you know, it was, it was, it was the consolement that I say, you know, it's so much a part of my life, dog, that like, that shit, you know, came before all my first loves, you know what I'm saying? That shit became, you know, a part of me. So, um, using all the forces of why me, using all the forces of, I'm the underdog, I'm this, I'm that, but I could rap. Like mm -hmm. I'm getting a little bit of love out of this rap shit. You know what I mean? Like and, like and was that like a um, therapeutic for you? Bro, it was this is what I preached to all my brothers, all my sisters, people on drug anybody. You, you you have to find something that you love, whether it be drawing, whether it be working out, like just it could be the easiest shit, man, and just work on that shit. Work on it till you get paid for it. People get, you know, paid to work other people out. There's trainers out there. Mm -hmm. there's, so there's there's ways and means of doing what you love and being able to make a lifestyle out of it, bro. You know, and, and you know, I feel if there's one thing that I'm going to leave on this earth, you know what I'm saying, for everybody is that you could do it too. You know what I mean? You could use everything that they use against you use it as the fuels to the flames mm -hmm. you know to catapult you inside of the hot air balloon to get you up and over you know what i mean like that's right. like that, that's that's how i've always seen you know my life like there's always a way you know but you got to be able to make it you can't just be like oh i'm sitting on my ass like hopefully it happens no you got to be able to make move shake do this wiggle that way if this doesn't happen you have to be super fucking flexible and don't take shit fucking too you know personal with this shit you know because at the end of the day yeah. we're all gonna die bro but if right. you can create if you could create yourself to where you could live after you die do that's it amazing. man that's amazing you know what i mean and yeah. see and and now i have even way more of a conviction because you know my mom she passed bro and i have to tell her her story before I'm gone, bro. Like I ain't, I ain't gonna leave this shit like until I tell her story leading into mine. And now this is where we're at now. You know what I mean? And um, so now it's just like I put little you know bits 
and pieces in my music to let people know who I am. But ultimately, you know, I think I'm going to get to a point in my life where, you know, I have to write a book, of, you know, because, you know, my life is a book, bro. I got, I got, I mean, every soldier has a war story, homie. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like every, right. you know what I mean? But I feel like if you're in a place where you have these eyes and ears tuned into you and you're able to, you know, just let these fools know, like, where yeah, you come yeah. from, and they could attach a piece of themselves to it and be like, yo, like, I have a similar story, or I went through something like that, yeah. or I went through that. Where? Yeah. Uh, a little bit of hope, and, and it's just like Pac, bro, like, right. you hear Pac, and, like, you could get a little bit of something out of what he's, you know, trying to say and be like, yo, like, I went through, I went through yeah. some shit like that, or I, I know somebody, and it hits you in a different way. It inspires like, you. Um, what I'm thinking, like, it's, it's you got different weapons of, of inspiration, right? If that definitely. makes any sense. Definitely, right? definitely. You got sure. different, different weapons of inspiration, meaning that you got a whole collection, a whole arsenal, right? So it's not just music, which is, not one, not which is one weapon of inspiration. You know, you got, you got a writing, you have writing skills where you can write books, scripts, uh, film, whatever is the medium through eyes and ears for people to understand. To, to, to understand. You you got that covered. You know what I, I mean? I gotta do it, man. Right. I gotta so, do it, man. So, so definitely, and you gonna do it. It's not that you gotta do it, you gonna yeah. do it. You know I'm, what I mean? Yeah, that's a I fact. Mean, um, that's a fact definitely wanna say God bless your mother's soul. She's- Thank she, you, man. Uh, she's with you just like my mom's is with me every step of the way. Definitely, I had, definitely. Uh, a lot of pitfalls that was before me. I fell in a, a couple of them. She yes, helped sir. me out. And then there was some that she avoided me. You know, I saw it. She let me know about them, and I avoided the pitfalls. So, you know what I mean? You know, uh, I, I definitely understand that. And and definitely may her, her memory be a blessing every single time to you, you know? Always, man. Always. And, you know, I, I, I incorporated my mom's in, you know, my music. Um, you know, she was on a cover with me, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. you, know, holding it, you know what I mean? So like classic, she she, classic. she really believed in it, man. And and you know, I'll say it to this day, like she, she believed in me when I didn't believe in me. So, you know, I feel like losing her it hurts, but in a way where I, now I just use it, man. I just I just use yeah. it. You know what I mean? Yeah, and just exactly I, what I do. You know what I'm saying? Um yeah. You know, and and you know, it comes in waves, homie. That shit hits, yeah. and, and you know, you gotta you yeah, gotta deal I mean, with it, you know, for the moment and shit. And, and yeah, I mean, like you know, to tell you, you know, I'm a testament of 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 it that it it you know it gets it gets greater later and it gets better. Right. But, you know, you are you. I can definitely say this, man. You are a king. You are a leader. Appreciate you, are, you bro. You are Thank inspirational. You. You know what I mean? Definitely inspirational and got me thinking about a couple of things of how I can uh, improve, um, you know, uh, you know, helping people that 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 need it. You know what I mean? You know, so, you know I hope, you know, people like, oh, yo, what the fuck? This nigga Toast got an interview, you know, got an interview with XP the Marksman and this motherfucker <laughs> talking about. Man, listen. Hey, man, we yeah. nah, we nah, talking that. Best. Yeah. We're talking that talk, man. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I said, like I, I, you know, I wake up in the morning, homie. I do yoga. I do shit like that, you know, for my soul, bro. Like Dope. I'm a spiritual Dope. thug, homie. You know what I'm saying? This Dope. is this is you know, but it's 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 you know, it comes right. from a genuine place, though, man. Yeah. You know, because if I wasn't doing yoga and I wasn't doing the shit to keep me right, right. the streets wouldn't be safe, homie. And I'll tell you that shit straight exactly. up. I'm gonna be a I'll be running the muck on some shit, you know. I I probably wouldn't even be here, you know what I mean. So Real I do a lot of things, homie, just to keep you know myself in check, yeah. to where um I could be good, you know, for those that you know need me, man, you know. And, and so definitely, that's yeah. just that's just what that's just what we got to do, man. You know, living in where we're living in right now, this shit is crazy, bro. So yeah, that's real. We're taking it every fucking day by day with this shit, man. You know, and, and yeah. if you can make one small step. Today and a fucking leap tomorrow, treat them the yeah. same, bro. You know, treat them the same. Right. Don't ever overlook a small step because, you know, that could be that step, you know, to complete the whole level that you right. was really 
trying to get off of, you know. So that that'll be the missing piece of the puzzle, you know. Right. Yes. 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 And like I said, I I I got a saying where I say I decompress so I can be at my best. You know what I mean? So <laughs> That's what like, he is. A lot of people yes. need to like this, you know, take that time out, breathe. A lot of motherfuckers is just not breathing. I know COVID <laughs> masks and all this shit, but yeah, I, right. That's what they don't breathe. want you to do is breathe, bro. Yeah, is breathe, you know what I mean? So yeah, man, I I I I I definitely think, you know, thank you for um for covering that. And that that was so important right there, you know what I mean? And, definitely, um, definitely. Uh, oh, hope a lot of people uh you know understand it and be inspired by it you know what i mean but definitely but um yeah i want to get into the album the new right album. right you know what i mean tell us tell us tell us about it um i already got a couple of favorite joints on there but let us know about the album bro all right well i mean you know basically i got the i got the vinyl joints right here my g mm -hmm. put that bang bang that. bang hold, hold that up mm -hmm. Hold it up a little bit more. And where can they get that? You can go to uh, xpthemarksman.com. And uh, I only made 100 of them, man. You know, this release, man, this is a big one for me because um, I actually I came up with, you know, the concept and everything like that, bro, on, on some shit. Like, right before, you know, my mom got sick. And uh, it's crazy how shit happens like that you know what i mean because she had got really sick and we had thought we were gonna lose her then but she popped back you know she was like man like you know but you know i remember the doctor letting me know man that that uh you know she wasn't gonna be around for too much longer and and you know to let somebody know that you can't let nobody know that you gotta let them you know let them live let them breathe let them enjoy life man so i i kind of held that you know what i'm saying but this album in you know in particular make the devil pray it it, it, it kind of had a weird opening because of that you know fact because i named the album and then you know the devil tried to fuck with me and you know ultimately man we all gotta go through this shit called life you know where we lose but i felt her you know bouncing back you know from you know basically death was m making the devil pray you know what i'm saying like like you know you, you always got to keep him at bay you know what i'm saying like he's he's he like any opposition is always looking for the downfall bro you know what i'm saying so if you can keep them praying until you know they die <laughs> That's yeah. what you got to do, you know what I'm saying? And, and um, I feel I've been living my life that way, man. I've been making the devil pray, you know, through a lot of, you know, circumstances in my life, you know, situations where I could have died. I could have been, you know, hella fucked up out here, bro. But I feel, you know, I made the devil pray, you know, through it all. Yeah. Um, so, that, you know, that concept. So, yeah, and that, that title is so deep. And now hearing you. You explain it, you know. Uh, yeah. Like that. When, when I um, when I heard the title, uh, I was like, um, my thoughts on it was like, okay, you know, XP is saying, you know, he has, you know, so much power and righteousness that he can revert the devil back to his true form, which is an angel, to make him pray, make him, make him pray. bow down, to make him exactly, bow down. Bro. Exactly, him see, man, exactly, exactly, so, bro. You know, that's what uh, that's what got me. You know what I mean? I was like, that's powerful. You know what I mean? That's that's that the so to speak, uh, uh no pun intended. That's hell of a powerful. <laughs> you know what <laughs> that's mean? what's up, bro. You know, and it's and it's crazy because I came up with the title, and then the cover came. You know what I mean? Like, you know, my homie put the cover together, and it's it's basically. Who uh who did the cover? Um, my man Orlando, he's from uh Italy, man. But he's he's amazing, dude. He he does pretty much all all my graphics. You know what I mean? Oh to, um, man, dope. So, the um, covers the covers outstanding. Dope. Salute to him. Salute. Yeah, yeah, for sure, bro. But yeah, brother, it's you know, and and um, um, the track that you actually opened up the show with, uh, you know, the Zooted Shooters. Yeah. I actually made that beat like 12 years ago, bro, when I first fucking got the MPC, right? 
we was making hella beats in my homie's fucking garage for like that first three, four years, right? Right. His shit crashed. So he was, you know, for maybe like eight years or something, he's like, yeah, bro, I, I can't recover shit or nothing. But he had this hard drive that he found in his, it, in the garage in like a crate or something. He's like, yo, I think, bro, a lot of them beats was on there. And I remember, and I remember I made that beat. So we kind of beefed it up. Ooh, and I was, I was like, oh, that bro, awesome. bro, I appreciate you, man. It's it's crazy how that shit even came to play now. So that beat, you know, that shit was made 12 years ago. And now it's on this shit. Mm -hmm. It's on a vinyl, you know what I mean? So it's like, mm -hmm. shit takes years, bro, you know, for, for even you to even be in a pocket, you know, to fuck with some shit, you know. And, um, and you know, that beat is ill. And I think, you know, that's my pocket of like, you know, kind of beat is I like intricate loops and I like the, right. you know, the banging drums and, and you know, let yeah. me get those off, you know what I mean? Like that's, that's, but um, yeah. yeah, brother, it's, it's, it's an official release under, under my label, which is Miho Music Records. And um, it's our first release under there, you know, vinyl release. So it's, it's, right. it's, you know, kind of a feat, man, you know, like, you know, me doing it, you know, from the ground up and, and, uh, right. All the producers on there, you know, they they did their thing too, man. You know, shout out to all the producers on there. Right. Um, you know, all the features and shit, man. Definitely. Definitely. I mean, uh, like I said, the the album is um uh the album is very dope. Uh I'm not just uh just saying that or blowing smoke. Those that listen to hip hop and know real hip hop, you know, um when they hear this album, they'll know I'm telling the truth. Um but it's very, like I said, it's it's even. It's it's nothing is 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 out of place. Um, the beats is crazy. Uh, I was gonna ask you who did the production on the album, some of the producers, but I, I know one of them is definitely you. And <laughs> <laughs> you know, but and and also with that, uh, you know, your selection of soulful soulful beats um you know and 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 the way that you uh choose to 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 speak over them you know what i mean is is dope i mean it's it's top notch you know what i mean um uh what's some of your favorites on uh on the album um well zooted shooters for sure because mm -hmm. you know that's it that you know just the you know the history behind it and um you know to see it you know coming to you know whole fruition and everything right. like that. Right. Um, I dig. Uh, let me see. We pull it out, man. Let's see. Yeah. So, uh, losses. You know, merge beats, bro. That's oh, that's, that's my cool. homie. That's my homie right there that I've been building with for over ten years. I want to say, man. Um, so, he's out of Bakersfield, you know, California. Um, he's on IG too, and and he does these beat things where he you know goes live and. He chops the beats up, but he's mm -hmm. he's he's ill and dope, man. And, and uh, you know, he just he has his own sound. So you know, I really had to tap in with him, you know, for this project because it was a few years where we ain't really done anything. Right. And um, I have him on, you know, certain releases. So I was like, you know, let me tap in, you know, to merge. So I kind of, you know, reached out. Um, slide beats as well, man. You know, on uh -huh. Double Bubble, you know, the the opening track. Um, Dope. That's my man, bro. He's I've only known him for like a year and, and we just been building, man. He's the one that did all the sincere leader projects mm -hmm. that I have. He uh you know, he fully produced them and shit. So uh yeah, man, some ill shit on here, bro. Uh, you know, Rock Marcy's on here too, you know what I'm saying? No, I, I mean, got big rock on here, you yeah, know. Yeah, you, you you did a, did a few uh a few projects with rock or songs with rock, right? Yeah, I I got a project with rock that um I released it's like a five piece, you know, a little EP joint um that I released on vinyl through Tough Kong Records, and this was a couple, like it's almost two years now, I think a year and a half, two years now. Mm -hmm. But um, you know that did its thing too, man. Uh, and then I also got a feature from him on the Nomads album, which I released in 2018. So um, I've been building with Rock, man. You know he's. He's a yeah, pillar in this shit, bro. You know what I mean? Man. Salute, salute, and uh, y'all too. Salute to 
y'all two complement each other, you know, oh, that's uh, what when the chemistry is right on 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 track. You know what I mean? That's so, what's yeah, saying, man. Definitely. Um, uh, I know one of my joints is uh, the the conduit. Oh yeah, yeah, the that's conduit. Yeah. yeah, who did that joint? That's my man, Tone Beats, man. Mm. Tone Beats. Don't he's slow. been he's been doing his rounds too. You know what I'm saying out here too and shit, dog. So um, I've been building with a lot of dudes that I personally see out here. You know, you know, moving and shaking, and uh, either you know they hit me up or you know I, I hit them up, and and we usually you know get to work real quick. So I have like a couple joints or something, and then uh, we just end up. You know, building a relationship, you know, through that, and um, you know, that's pretty much how I've been moving, dog. Is just working with you know like-minded and um, mm -hmm. individuals that are just on the same you know kind of trajectory, right? You know, that I'm on. So, well, uh, with this, did you had to go through with this particular project? Was there? Um... Was it the usual writing process or was it a different writing process going into it? Um, you know what, man? My writing process is is really tricky because, you know, I know a lot of people, you know, they'll kind of lock in and be like, I'm going into this album. And then, you know, they kind of just pull and stuff with me, man. I kind of just work when I feel it, you know, <laughs> like I'll go for two weeks without doing shit. And then once... I feel it, I just, boom, you know what I mean? And I just, I'll go in for two, three weeks, you know, right. and I'll do, I'll do a couple features for homies or whatever that I got piling up or, you know, you know, sitting in the stash and then I'll go through all the beats I got sent, you know, like during that time and I'll just, I'll kind of just, you know, pen stuff and then I'll just have a, just like an archive of just maybe like, 20, 30 joints, and I'll just right. be like, all right, this one, that one, you know, this one has, you know, this one, right. so I feel like I, you know, I got a project. Um, right. But that's, that's, that's pretty much how it goes, man. I, I kind of just, I don't really work to aim at a target, you know what I mean? I kind of just shoot, you know what I mean? I just kind of keep shooting right. until I have a little body of um, work on the side that, you know, I could pick and choose from. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to limit myself to just having like, oh, I only have these eight, eight songs, or you know, I kind of right. just, you know, I kind of give myself a, a little bit of, you know, a little bit of space, man, to be like, okay, I can boom, boom, and if I don't have anything that I feel it needs, and I kind of, um, I'll kind of go in, um, you know, I don't, I don't make, um, music where it's like, oh, this one needs a track about chicks or this one needs right. a track about right. smoking. Like, you know, right. and I, I've been through situations like that where, you know, we kind of worked it that way and, and, you know, the shit came out cool, but I feel like if you just leave yourself to working and you commit to like, okay, I got to write. And that's, you know, that's what I tell my family. That's what I tell you, you know, I'm going to write. And I, I don't have, like, you know, what I'm going to write about or nothing. I just go in and I just boom, you know, because I feel like um, <clears throat> you get the right beats and, and you have, you know, the right, you know, shit that hits you. It brings it out of you, bro. Like, you don't got to do too much. So I, I kind of just let it, you know, sit in the pot for a bit and I'll, mm -hmm. I'll come back and I just boom. And, and then, you know, next thing you know, I got like, like I said, I got all the features that I needed to get done. And then I have two or three tracks that right. I can maybe, you know, put towards a little EP here or something. And I'll start adding to that or, or, you know, whatever the case, but, um, I got some shit in store, man. I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a open up, you know, this whole year with shit, but, um, you know, this, you know, this one in particular, this made me step my shit up because I, I knew, Eventually, once they heard the Rock Marciano join and everything else, mm -hmm. they're gonna look like, okay, what is he doing on his own? Because right. I'm not trying to use anybody, you know, for what they built. So I'm trying to add to it. So that's always been my attitude, you know. What I mean, right. I, I, I want to add to this shit. So I felt with this one, you know, being the follow up to the Rock Marcy shit, they could get a piece of me way more than it just being, you know, me and Rock on it. Right. And they're tapping in only because they see Rock Marcy on it, boom, you know. But now they're like, okay, let me see what this kid could do 
on, you know, right, on his right. own and shit. So that's well, what it was. You know, that's what it was. That's that's the kind of you know project it was. It was like that follow up. You know, right. I mean, well, it's it uh, the project is 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 well thought out when you, when you listen to it from front to back. It's a it's a dope journey. You know what I mean? It's a dope journey. You know, and definitely hope that uh, everybody tunes into it and. Uh, uh, definitely want want to touch on real quick with um the other project that you got out there with Rashid Chappelle. Right, right. RX, yeah, we uh RX. we dropped that uh what a month and a half ago or something like that in November. Okay. We dropped it nope. in November. So crazy, and that joint is crazy. Also, I mean, just the music that that uh that um that y'all coming up with is 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 the shit that's uh that's keeping it going. Like you know what I mean? If 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 that wasn't there, it'll be a lot. It'll be an empty hole. It'll be a void. You know what Thank I mean? Thank you, man. Thank you, you know? bro. And you know, Rashi, man, that's my brother for life now. You know, and and it's crazy because I've I've only known him for a year, but mm -hmm. I feel after we, you know, completed this whole album and everything, and it's crazy how it even happened because you know yeah. when my mom got sick at the beginning of the last year, um, he reached out to me. He's like, "Yo, man, like you know." You know, my condolences. I hope she gets better, you know, this and that. And he never met me. I never met him. And um, that's the kind of shit that I'm talking about, bro. Like, he right. took the compassion that he has as a human to be like, yo, I see a fellow artist in pain. Like, he would have been there, like, you know, just to share, you know, just to share a shoulder, homie. Be like, yo, hey, right. dog, like, you know. And um, through, you know, that first interaction, um, when I went to New York, I actually went to a Fred the Godson's um, a street name. Mm. And um, I pulled up there. He's like, yo, I'm going to be there too. So I met him there and I met, you know, 38 Spesh. I met, um, you know, so, UFO Thief um, up there too and shit, man. And it was, it was, it was, you know, good to see how they hold. They're MCs, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it, it was a blessing, homie, to see, you know, the street, you know, unveiling. It was crazy. It was like snowing outside, yeah. raining. It was, it was, but, you know, yeah. everybody was out there, though. It was crazy. It was ill. That's dope. So we met off that. And then, you know, that night, we got in the studio and we laid some shit down. And we did two tracks, which are the first two tracks off the album. So those mm -hmm. first two joints you hear on the album, those were the first two joints that we linked up and did. And then once I got back, you know, to the West Coast, um, you know, out here, I fucking, I started just writing shit, right. sending it to him, sent it. So, boom, he started sending me shit back and we just started, boom, you know, and we just, we had like, you know, the correspondence was ill. Like, yeah. we were just, you know, and um, he told me that he wanted to link up to do the mixing and mastering. And he wanted to link up in Boston. And this is when fucking, you know, COVID is crazy. Like, it's first opening up. COVID is crazy. Yeah, yeah. So he swoops me up, man. And, and you know, he was feeling under the weather. And he had got tested. So, you know, everything was cool, whatever. And then he got tested the day after again. And then it came out, like, positive. So we was like, I was like, friend, I was with him. So it was crazy, bro. Like, we don't went through hell of shit, bro, with this whole yeah, man. With this whole shit, you know, and we moved through the COVID to make this album. That's why we have the mask and all that, you know what I mean? The all RX right. thing. Because right. it, that shit, literally, man, we were fucking, we're having to fight that shit, bro. Right. Like, every, you know, just trying to, just trying to release an album. Yeah. Became, you were trying to put your life at risk, you know? You were, right. like, literally putting your life at risk, trying to maneuver in the midst of that shit and that's why you get rx because we're giving you the medicine you know right the whole shit so right uh, right I'm, but but i mean that's a good album bro it's it's, it's, it's an excellent album excellent it's album. east I west know. you know yeah, it has yeah, that yeah. whole fucking hip-hop shit cracking off in it for sure it's dope i mean uh your catalog as i say if people don't know and the people that do know they know that your catalog is 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 banging it's exquisite right now thank you, you know what thank, I mean? you so, thank you thank um, you i mean it's it's nothing whack in there and your lyrical ability is 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 off the off the chart you know what i mean it's poetry thank you brother. Yeah, poetry you know what i mean but um yeah man so uh 
I'm definitely honored that you, you you came through, man. I was looking forward to this uh to this interview for, for me too, bro. Me too, you know me I mean? too, bro. You know, I've been uh, seeing you do your thing and shit for a minute too, you know. Appreciate that, man. And um definitely uh you know uh what's coming up? Anything coming up or anything else you want, you know, hit on real quick? Well, I'm actually dropping a new release on the twentieth of this month. Mm, that's what's up. Okay. I'm about to hit these fools off again, bro. I'm just keep shooting, shooting at the target, bro. So yeah, I'm dropping the Marksman. You know that's what it's titled. Um, January twentieth, it drops on all DSPs. I think next week we're actually dropping a single. You know, so be on the lookout for that shit. And uh, we drop it on the twentieth. Yeah, the Marksman. The Marksman. All right, the so marksman. the marksman. How many? You know, uh, how many tracks on there? Nine tracks. Right now, I think if you go to sh Shape Four Five, they, you know, they dropping hell of exclusives up there right now. I think you know, the Static Selector, he just dropped an exclusive off it. So yeah, man, they 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 uh, you know, they already. We already uh, you know, spinning this shit, but uh, the actual release release drops on the twentieth. And how would you describe that album real quick? It's honestly the way I felt about it. Um, I felt like I just slapped it together mm -hmm. personally. Mm -hmm. But the feedback that I've been getting from it, they're like, yo, you tripping, bro. Like, this is this is this is a crazy fucking body of work. Mm -hmm. Um I'm 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 excited about it because I have a couple of joints on there that I have on repeat, like personally, you know, just because of the beats, the rhymes. Like, I think honestly, man, honestly, this album, I'm taking it back to like Cuban Links. I'm taking it back to like, um, yeah, bro. Like, like when you hear it, I want you to feel that. Like when when you hear the new right. shit, I want you to be like, yo, he he told me this is the feeling. Like I, that's the feeling that that I get from, right. from uh, you know what I mean. And I have um, a few guest appearances on there. Cool. Um, but other than that, man, it's just raw beats, mm. raw raps, and, and just don't I think stop. You going? You keep going, bro. I got to, man. I got <laughs> to. Man. Definitely, without question, without question. But you know, yeah. there's. I, I think. I think honestly, man. I think uh, in there, bro. I think I have a lot of shit where you know you can get the street shit. You can get the heartfelt shit. You can get a a piece of, of everything in there, and. I think ultimately that's what I wanted to do, but I didn't see it at first. When I first slapped it together, I didn't I didn't see that at first. But now that I'm hearing it, um, it has a piece of all that, and I feel like you said that's what's missing out of hip hop. You know the the raw aspect of it, where no holds for you know no holds bars. No, it's just all yeah. you. It's just real shit. It's right. you wearing your heart on your sleeve, and if anybody wants to fuck with that, then they know what time it is, you know what I mean? That's the kind of shit I'm on. That's what's up. That's I can't definitely can't wait to hear that. And that, that comes out once again. What when's the date? January 20th. It drops on everywhere. It drops everywhere. But you can get an exclusive um if you check out, you know, Shade 4 or 5. I know they got some shit in rotation, but we're dropping a single this week, this coming week. So be on the lookout for that. And um they also can get it on your yeah on your website on on XP. Yeah, I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll have hard copies on the site, and you can get you know a signed hard copy from there. And then when you order the hard copy, you get the free digital download, so you don't have to hear it on Spotify or any right. of that shit. You just have it on right. your device, or you could you know whatever you want to do with it. Dope, dope. So dope, dope, you, you can get all that. On the site, but yeah, I, f I feel like it's gonna be a good year, bro. I have a lot of shit that I'm hitting them off with already, and then I have mm -hmm. shit that I have in the tuck that I'm gonna be hitting them off with. So I'm just gonna keep hitting them, dog, till everybody believes this shit. You know, everybody's tuning in pretty much. I can't do anything else, you know. I can't, right. you know, and I think I'm at a place where I can just hit these fools off consistently with the quality that I have. And they're gonna fuck with it, you know, because mm -hmm. I think I could keep up. I think I could keep up in this whole aspect of hip hop right now, you know. Oh, without question, yeah, definitely. And it's, it's, 
honestly, I feel it's the most elite it's ever been, you know, with having elite artists from everywhere just kicking shit. So I feel if you can survive in this, you know, kind of terrain, you'll be able to survive anywhere. And, and I go to New York, bro, and I get so much love that I feel like it's my second home, dog. You know what I mean? And I feel like if you can survive in L.A. and New York, you can survive anywhere in the world, homie. You good. know what I mean? Yeah, you good. Shut you know I mean? <laughs> you definitely up. good. Yeah. Um, last question real quick is uh, let us know about uh, Miho music. Am I pronouncing it correctly? Miho. Yes, sir. Yeah, Miho. Miho music. So Miho means son. Right. So I feel like Miho on our side is like y'all saying, hey, yo, what's up, son? Like, what up, son? Like, mm -hmm. I'm like hey, yo, what up, Miho? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You're my Miho, you know, like, I got love for you, you're my son, you know, like, what's up? Like, That's so I feel like um, using that aspect, and honestly, man, it's a term of endearment, you know, and, and the Miho word is like the younger brother, the fool that has to work his way up, you know, to become something, you know what I'm saying? Right, so right. I've always, I've always been a Miho, so I, I gotta work my, I gotta work my, you know, myself up, you know, to become a boss or, you know, become who... I'm meant to be so having that and um you know i'm mexican i come from la i'm chicano it just has a twist to it mm -hmm. and i'll be bringing that shit over over to the east coast like i'll be like hey what's up fool like on the east coast like and we'll say it'll be like hey what's up vato? Like, <laughs> like, you know, so i'm bringing that shit you know and and the, that's one thing that i hold high in my music too is my heritage you know I'm Mexican, you know, a third generation here. I speak a little bit of Spanish, not too much, not too little. I could understand it way more than I could, you know, I could speak, but uh, you know, I'm I'm I I I don't know, man. It's it's a trip because a lot of the Mexican people I know that rap or whatever, they're like the first generations here. So they're, you know, bilingual, they speak right. You know both languages but me personally i have a different story you know my mom and dad are from a la gang my uncles aunts um all that shit. like it's it's a little deeper to you know the the gang heritage you know the low rider heritage that's more of where i come from you know um we don't do the sombreros and the fucking you know the the snake yeah. boots and the and you know the belt buckles and shit like our shit is like the Nike Cortez mm -hmm. with the Dickies, right? Creased up with the wife beater with the you know that's that's my shit mm -hmm. you know what I mean and, and I carry that in my music wherever I go because that's my heritage you know but I also I do this hip hop shit so I incorporate it you know because it's it's right. it's either you know far to none that are doing it how I'm doing it and bringing that with them, you know? So I, I want to expose that to the world, you know, right. the Chicano heritage, you know, like, what's right. up, homie? Like, I want, right. I want people to say, what's up, fool, around the right. world, you know? So that's, right. that's, what I'm, that's what I'm doing, dog, you know? Well, yeah, you know, uh, so to speak, you are the conduit, right? For that, yeah, right? thanks. You know right. what I mean? And uh, <laughs> you definitely... Uh, right. Yeah, it's definitely working in that type of way. You the bridge to that. You know what I mean? You know, those that got that 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 are accepting and 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 you know, um to 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 other cultures and learning. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? That that's what it's all, all about. You know what I mean? And fucking thing in uh in the music. So, you know, listening about different cultures and different languages and different aspects to it only can make you better. You know what I mean? No. And that's the Miho music shit. You know, that's yeah. that's yeah. what I'm bringing to it is is, is that whole shit, that yeah. Chicano heritage to this hip hop shit. You know? Yeah, bring it in full effect. You know what I mean? Definitely, definitely. And uh, much, much uh, success to Miho music. You know what I mean? Thank you, brother. Thank you. Continue, thank continue you. success. Um, but yeah, man, uh, thank you, XP. This was, uh, this was a very, you, very dope interview. Uh, I'm I'm fucking happy. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no worries, man. No worries. Hey, man, I, I, I feel the same because anytime I could hop on a platform and just really show 
you know, the world who I am, let them know what it is. Right. And they can tap in, man. That's, that's you know. I mean, um, as well. th this is an open door. Anytime you have anything or whatever that you want to do, or or my my platform is 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 your platform. It's an open door, bro. Appreciate that, you know brother. I mean? Appreciate um, that. And we're gonna tap in on 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 some music shit too, bro. If you already know what time it is, so definitely. We're gonna man, let so. them know, you know. We're letting you yeah, guys know yeah, right here, right now. We're gonna we're gonna do some shit, you know. Thank you. It'll be an honor, man. Be an honor. Yeah, yeah. Sure you are uh you are a great great talent, and um, appreciate you, man. It's it's uh. Definitely respect, you know what I mean, without question. But um, yeah, thank you, thank you for coming by to the Pinoy podcast. Come by again. Yeah, this man. is going hopefully a first of many interviews that we uh we do with you. And uh, everyone, just keep keep your eye on XP and watch how he keeps going up, up and up. You know what I mean. And, um, support all his music. Uh, definitely go to XP doc XP to Marksman .com. Um, you can see all his music there, you know, go to YouTube, Spotify, everywhere where there's some, something popping XP, the marks. I'm there, man. Yeah. You know I'm there, there. You know, I'm there. Yeah. Support Back, him. Much and, love, um, Toast, man. Yeah, this has been a privilege, bro. Thank you. Much love, much love to you, XP. Much love to the family. Much love to the West Coast. Thank you. And, Thank you. Um, until we meet again, brother. You know Yes, I mean? sir. Remember January 20th, a couple of days away, get that yeah. new shit, the marks, man. Dropping. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna let y'all know, you know, on on uh, my social media when it drops, it's gonna be blasting. So definitely get that and get the new album, make the devil pray. Make the devil pray. Make exactly. the devil pray, which I'm telling y'all is fire. I know that's cliche. <laughs> I know everybody say that. Let them know. Let them know, my G. But what I'm telling y'all right now, this shit is heat rocks right here. You love, you're gonna love it. You know what I mean? Thank so you, bro. Um, tune in. And uh until the next time, salute, brother. Salute, man. Yeah. See y'all soon. Peace. Peace.